hailing from Los Angeles, California, here is Abraham Calderon. <laughs> and his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wears black trunks trimmed in gold with both the flag of Mexico and the USA. He weighed it officially 148 and one half pounds, and in five bouts, stands perfect with five victories. No defeats, four wins by way of knockout, Fighting out of and representing Santana, California, here is the undefeated Alexis Rocha. And your referee in charge of the action is Wayne Hedgeman. Okay, we're good here. You got your instructions in the dressing room. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch him up. Wayne Hedgeman, our third man in the ring. The tell of the tape for this one, Steve, it's four rounds. And you take a look at the age difference. Alexis Rocha still just 19 years old. He also has a noted advantage in terms of reach. We're underway. Alexis Rocha is the southpaw from Segerstrom High School. And he's very aggressive, comes out early. 5 0, 4 KOs. A fighter that Golden the Boy is really high on. Has that power. He's got four KOs. Body shot landed by Calderon. Calderon is a fighter who's fearless. He said he'll fight anybody at the 47, 52. It doesn't matter. He just likes getting in the boxing and working at it. Now training at the NGBA in Linwood. And, and there you see the left from Rocha. That is a heavy shot he has. And Beto, he certainly has not been hard to find for Rocha, which is kind of a double jeopardy here. Uh, one thing, he is aggressive, but at the same time, he is right in the wheelhouse of Rocha. He has not been uh, what I would call an elusive target here in the first minute. Alexis Rocha, about the age of 12, 13, he went to the gym with his brother Ronnie because he was Overweight, almost 200 pounds. Started training to lose weight, and then they realized once you shed that weight, there was a lot of power in that left hand. Took it serious with Hector, his trainer, and went to some big time tournaments. He started winning and knocking people out. Here he is as a professional at 147 pounds. Got to give Calderon credit, Beto. He certainly is not here to lay down and act like, well, just as I say that, he actually looks like he's come up just a little bit prone. It may have been a low blow. That's certainly what his body language is suggesting. But he has been right in the wheelhouse, and he's been right in the pocket with Rocha here early on. Calderon gets stung with the left. He is staying right there, Steve, in that pocket. There is no movement from him. Right, and that's the problem. He's going to be right in line with most of what Rocha is going to want to do, which is going to be punch. He, one thing we know about him, he has very, very heavy hands from the both sides. And he's paying a price, but I tell you what, he's making Rocha work in here in the first. He's landed a couple of his own. Rocha says the day he became a pro, the first time the punches landed, he told himself, whoa, this is a lot better than the amateur world. Well, you go from what, big gloves to eight ounce gloves, yep. but at 147 also, you're hitting guys without headgear. Now, if Calderon's gonna be inside, I think he's gotta be right where he is. He's gotta be all the way inside. The theory is when you do something like this to a puncher, what you wanna do is be able to smother them and not allow them to really unfurl those arms and catch you at the end of their punches. It's like throwing inside a, a hit big hitter? Absolutely, or just throwing a wool blanket on a fire, just smothering. Final seconds of the opening round. It is scheduled for four in the super welterweight division. Alexis Rocha, Abraham Calderon. Alexis, what they call him, at a TKO boxing in Santa Ana. Alexis Rocha, mom from Zacatecas, Mexico. Thanks to Vanessa and Mid-Cities watching us on Ring TV tonight. There's always our Security blanket, Linus in Philadelphia ah. watching us. Raging Babe eating cookies and watching tonight. Wepa. You're watching a youngster and Alexis Rocha looking good here through his first round. Oh, and body shot drops Calderon here early in the second. 
A body shot that everybody in the building heard. Uh, Beto, that was a right hook right around the left elbow of Calderon, perfectly placed. Oh, a stiff left from Rocha. More body work from Alexis Rocha, the 19-year-old. Body work, digging in, digging in. Calderon's game, don't know for how much longer. Rocha's is trying to end this one here. Body work, more from Rocha. Trying to smother him is Calderon. Another body shot, stiff. Left from Rocha. Calderon sneaks one of his own in there. Patience right now from Alexis Rocha here in a second. You know, Beto, I think this has been some pretty good work here. I get the sense this fight will not see the distance, but unlike his other knockouts, he's actually been made to work a little bit uh, in the lead up to this. As we mentioned before, out of his four knockouts, three of them have come in the first round. He's 5-0, oh, four KOs. And the one that did go the distance, the fighter, let's just say, wasn't anywhere near <laughs> Alexis' arms. Felt the power early and kept his distance. Younger brother, Ronnie Rios, who will be in the, in the ring in about an hour. Ronnie is in the corner of Alexis right now. It's more of a veteran move there by Calderon, isn't it? No, there isn't. One thing that they're going to have to work on, and Rocha, I think, again, valuable experience, learning how to work with a guy that's going to smother and tie him up. Now, I get the sense as his reputation grows and he puts more fights under his belt, a lot of guys are going to try to do exactly what Calderon do, did, at least early on, smother and tie up on the inside. That left from Rocha really stinks. Third round, schedule for four to Alexis Rocha, the southpaw, and Abraham Calderon. Calderon, one and three. He was here a year ago in his pro debut, and he lost a decision. Body work. Alexis Rocha digs into the body. Steve, I know that's one thing you stress with young fighters. Go to the body. Don't fall in love with going upstairs. No, there's no doubt about it. He's very good at actually bending that front knee. That's one of the key things. No matter what side you're from, bend that front knee and get that hook. But really, body punching to me is a mentality. You, you've got to practice that. I think it's hard to do that on the mitts. I, I get the sense that Rocha, not having seen him in the gym with Hector Lopez, probably puts in a fair share of work on the heavy bag. Digging in, digging in, oh. body work, and that drops him for the second time in the fight. First one was a hook, this one a hook to the body. Calderon jumps up, Wade Hedgepit keeping a close eye on him. Oh, there's people watching right now all over the world and in the country. They're seeing Alexis Rocha. They're getting those muscles in him. He's no longer that chubby 200 pound kid. He's eating right and training with his brother. You see it paying off. This is what you want to do during Christmas. You wrap your presents like Cynthia's and Hawthorne, and you want to watch a fighter go at it. No need to be at the mall. And there he is, wrapping him up. There's Abraham Calderon. More body work. Grinding right now is Rocha. TKO Boxing in Santa Ana is where Alexis Rocha is at. As are the Flora sisters who work out there. A lot of fans coming up from Orange County making some noise for Alexis Rocha. There's a good fan base building for him with a fan-friendly style. Yeah, and keep this in mind, he's only 19 years old. I get the sense with Golden Boy, there's not going to be a rush for him. It's going to be a long while before I think he's really tested. But I think tonight's been good work. He's learned a few things. Uh, I think creating distance and creating space on the inside as he looks back at this tape along with this trainer, 
th there's some things to work on. And I think it's the first time a guy's really been able to do that. And again, there's a nice little counter hook for Calderon. Calderon has been sneaky the last minute or so. 28-year-old Abraham Calderon from Puebla, Mexico. His game. Keep your hands up. Hands up. Drop twice. Just right back up. Ten seconds to go in the third. It is scheduled for four. Blood coming down the nose of Calderon. Who went down here in the third. Fourth and final round. Alexis Rocha and Abraham Calderon. Calderon getting worked on by Big Surge Estrada. Some nose. Had some blood coming down the nose of Calderon. Also one of the best in the business, Mike. Rodriguez, crime fighting cut man, watching us. He'll be at the forum tomorrow. Work in the corner of Ryan Garcia, fighter that Golden Boy is really high on. Thanks for support all over. Always good when the boxing world is tuning in on Friday night. Calderon went down in the second and in the third. Turn him, turn him, turn him. Yet here he is, Beto, fighting in the fourth. This is, I don't think punch. this has been nearly as easy as Rocha expected it to be after scoring that first knockdown in the second. It's tougher than his one and three record indicates, is Calderon. Turned pro last year at the age of 27, late to get in his career. He started boxing late in his life. Always liked it, but they wouldn't let him as a kid down in Mexico, did Calderon. Finally, he says, I'm old enough, I'm doing it. What a way to earn a living. Stepping in there with Alexis Rocha. Good one, two from Rocha. More blood from the nose of Calderon. Can you hear the Alexis Rocha fan club getting a little antsy here? They're not used to seeing their guy in the fourth round. No, they're not, but this is a valuable experience. He's only been to distance once, and we mentioned again, out of the four knockouts, three of them have come in the first round. I, I think, and again, I'm making an assumption here, it's the first time he's actually floored somebody that's gone the distance. I think that type yep. of stuff is valuable. So we've seen all his fights here on Ring TV, and guys go down and it's like, oh, you know, that, that was low, low. that was low. Or well, was it low? Well, if they don't call it, is it, it isn't. But that was certainly south of the border. That, that was a little bit, oh, well, Wayne Hedgepeth warns him now. Warned him after, after he landed a couple more. You said it, you and Doug Fisher both said, you don't want a guy to be 10 and 0, 10 KOs, but he hasn't been pushed a little bit. No, you need to be pushed in every fight. I still remember the case of Tyrone Brunson, who first 20 some odd fights, he literally scored 20 first round knockouts. And first fight. round? Yes, and it Jeez. was some sort of Guinness Book of World Record. You set the record, but it came at the cost of actual physical and career development. I guess you could say it was boxing's version of the mannequin challenge who he was facing at that point. Oh, man. Is that over yet? Yeah, I, you know what's funny? I remember the first time Brunson had a real fight was against Carson Jones, and he got completely exposed. It was literally the first time someone really showed him any type of professional resistance. Four rounds we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three judges have it scored the same, 40 to 34. Your winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated, Alexei! Rocha! Had to earn it. Dropped his opponent twice, but he had with the distance. Alexis Rocha. Look at some of the highlights, Steve. Yeah, and Alexis Rocha went to 6 and 0, and I think that was a very good term. I think it's apt. He certainly had to earn it. Looked like it was going to be an early that night to begin with as he floored him in the second. But again, uh, I think this is part of the story. Calderon, in the late stages of this four rounder, was actually very game and live, landed a few punches that bloodied the nose of Rocha, goes to 6 and 0, and he did land a shot or two below the belt. Story of the night, though, and preferred choice of weapon was the left hand to the body. Those were the two shots that sent Calderon down to the canvas twice. Beto, he was 6-0 in 2016. 
uh, I think there's a strong possibility that he has the same type of activity leading into next year. But so this in mind, though, still only just 19 years old. But that helps a fighter like Rocha, right? Where you knock down an opponent and he gets up. Well, that's what's going to happen at the higher levels. When he starts going to the 6, 8, 10, and eventual world-class levels, if he advances that far, um, they have the temerity to get up and actually fight back. How dare they? How dare they? But.